All right, Kaylee, let's go. Okay, you want your bag? Yep, everything's in the car. Okay, You're on okay. camera, say hi. Hi. Hey guys, Jack Cat's here. Kaylee and I are doing a road trip. That's right, Jack Cat's we fishing. Get to hear and we get to go in the back car. Guys, we're going to Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, we're going to be seeing some family. I'm going to be doing a marathon. Oh, this is well, fun. actually, a half marathon. We're going to be going to Bass Pro Shops to get a few tackle. Uh, if I have some time, I'll do some fishing. But we're going to be on the road for about six hours, and Kaylee and I are going to have a great time. Let's see what we have. Brought uh, one fishing rod, uh, my tackle box, all my clothes and everything, and Kaylee has all her stuff as well. You ready, Kaylee? Hi. You ready? Ready. All right. Let's do this. We'll see you in the road. All right, guys. We're leaving good old Chattanooga. Just now leaving Knoxville and headed towards Lexington. We're going to be on 75 North. Pretty much most of the trip. If you've never been to Zaxby's, highly recommend you go there. Very fun restaurant to go to. You ready for some Zaxby's? Okay. <laughs> Say Zaxby's. Zaxby's. We are just now leaving Jellicoe, Tennessee. Right there. Welcome to Kentucky. We're going to take a break for a little bit. We're at the Kentucky Travelers Center. That's an interesting statue there. All right, back on the road. We're about just a little over two hours away from Cincinnati to our destination. Gotta love traffic. And we're at a complete standstill. Oh, now we're moving. Cincinnati, here we come. Crossing over the bridge right now. Got the Ohio River right there. We are here, Skyline Chili. This stuff's about to get serious. If you have not tried this restaurant, I highly recommend you do. This restaurant is like the trademark for Cincinnati. Uh, let's get some grub. Alrighty. Skyline Chili at its best. Three way. Cheese coney. Kaylee, what do you think? Cheese coney. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. Bass Pro Shops, here we are. We're going to get some gear for the summertime. And uh, Bass Pro Shops is like every fisherman's favorite store. Well, at least it is for me. So let's go ahead and go in here. Welcome, fishermen, hunters, and... Uh, other liars. Huh, interesting. Good morning. What we got there? Oh, it's a GoPro camera. Uh, he no works camera. here, guys. Yeah, so, works here. so <laughs> all right, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, we're going to get some stuff, guys, and uh, see what we can get. I will show you guys the aquarium. Here you guys go. Looks like they got a nice big blue catfish. Right, right here is the big blue they have in here. Pretty neat how that is. Look at that fish. This is why I love fishing for these big brutes. Just an awesome fish. Looks like they have a gar down there. And they have a big bluegill right there. And I think right here is a channel catfish. Pretty neat. What do you guys think? It's only $13. I'll get it. Why not? I'm gonna try getting one of these guys. These are sun stoppers. If you've never tried one, I recommend it, especially when you're fishing in the sun or doing any extracurricular activity. Definitely wanna try getting one of these. All right, guys, I found a pond. I am in my parents' neighborhood pond. 
so I'm pretty sure this is private. I have no idea what's in it. I don't know anybody that has fished this particular pond or anything, so I'm going to give this a whirl. I'm going to use the Senko weightless and see what I can get. I have a feeling though we're going to get something. I only have about a half hour to fish, so we're going to make the most of it and uh, see what we can get. Fish on, fish on. Yeah, wow, a bluegill or whatever eating a Senko. What in the world? Now guys, that is something. I've never ever happened before. What in the world? I'd be surprised if he's even hooked. Guys, he was not even hooked. But this thing is fat and also I, i'm pretty sure if this serves me correct this is a pumpkin seed comment below uh if you know what kind of fish this is but he just hammered the senko and wasn't even hooked wow that is something what in the world but i'm pretty sure this is a pumpkin seed, but I could be wrong. But like I said, if you know what kind of fish this is, please comment below. Wow, that's interesting. Wow. Let's let this guy go. And there he goes. Well, at least we know that there's life in this pond. I'm going to go down this path here. I think this leads to the other side of the pond. looks interesting this looks like a little inlet or something to the main pond over there uh, I guess I'll throw this a little bit and just kind of see what's around I don't know if uh, any bass would be hanging this shallow but I'll keep moving down a little bit and Hopefully we can get into some action. Only caught one fish. That's okay. But now it's time to get ready for the half marathon. Guys, I'm on my way to pick up my race packet. And I'm walking there right now. I'm going to pack a pickup. Alright guys, here's the expo. First time doing this race. Should be fun. Let's go ahead over here to the half marathon packet pickup line. Last well, name's Jellison, J E L L I S O N. Yes, yes, that's me. Chattanooga, half marathon, men's medium. Yep, looks right. Charmin Ultra Soft. Never know what can happen during the race. It's 5 30 in the morning. The race starts at 6.30. Got my coffee. That's my jump start. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you back at mile three. Three miles, guys. 8.20 pace. All right, guys, approaching mile six. And we're about to hit a massive hill. Mile six, baby. Here we go. What's up, Elvis? Approaching mile nine. Mile nine. Mile nine, here we go. 
Mile 12, guys. Just a little over one more mile, and we got it. Almost there, guys. metal to show for it. Got some pretzels, granola bar, peanut butter crackers, chips. Definitely get some food back in me. It's just made it back to the house. Marathon went pretty good. Uh, finished in under two hours. Had a great time. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I know this one was kind of a hodgepodge of everything with, um, you know, coming up here to Ohio and fishing a little bit, going to Bass Pro Shops and running the half marathon. But appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next episode.